Last few days, we've heard from so many of you who have been upset about the growing problem of illegally parked campers and RVs, which are often used by the homeless. Well, even city leaders now admitting it is an epidemic. Our Lisa Balick digging deeper, and she joins us live from Southeast Portland. Lisa? Yeah, I'm in Woodstock Park, and it's a place that just filled with families here in the neighborhood. But today, as we drove through here, we noticed on one of the campers, there was a green towing sign that had been posted just today. Neighbors say, well, it's a start. They're really not like your next door neighbor. Let's let's say that. Don's lived across from Woodstock Park for many years. He wants the city to make the recreational vehicles and cars parked along here for weeks or months at a time move. I think it's a really a detriment to, to have you know these cars parked here and there is an ordinance already in effect if you have a van or anything larger no more than I believe it's an eight hour period and then you have to move those. What bothers permanent residents the most is when garbage and dangerous items like drug needles pile up outside the RVs. This morning we heard from a parent about preschoolers walking by exactly that kind of mess just outside this RV near the Woodstock Community Center. The city's unofficial policy has been to allow homeless camping in RVs, but I found out that's about to change. By June, we'll have a, uh, a policy in place that those abandoned RVs that are um, displaying human waste or drug paraphernalia will be subject to being towed. The city gets more than 100 complaints a day about abandoned or illegally parked RVs and cars. Last week, I found out the city had only one towing company under contract to remove them, and their towing lot was now full. Commissioner Salzman, though, told me today the city is hiring more companies to tow. Neighbors tell me they're tired of waiting. But I don't see any action, so, mm -hmm. and I would like to see some action. Now, if you see something like this on your street and it's there for a while, there is a city number you can call. We have it on our website. It is the Abandoned Vehicle Line. But I want to read you this from the city's website. It says, given the current backlog, it's unlikely most of the cited RVs will be gone within 30 days. But they're hiring more towing companies, so that may change. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Thanks for the follow